crowds like lost sheep and he wants to teach them so that they can find the way. And remember, Jesus said himself, he is the way. Hey guys, welcome to the video today. I am out at the Awabakal Nature Reserve. I haven't been out here yet and uh, thought, why not go check it out and do a video out here today? It's a little bit cooler, temperatures dropping, but it's a nice uh, sunny day and good day for a little hike and reading a bit of the Bible. So guys, last week we were reading about the death of John the Baptist and how sometimes the message of repentance is met with anger. Today, guys, we're going to read again in the book of Mark, chapter 6, we're going to read about how Jesus gives rest to his disciples and provides food for this large crowd because of his great compassion. But first, as always, I'd like you to be thinking as we read this and consider these two questions. Think about, number one, how does Jesus respond to our needs? How does he respond to our needs? And number two, how should we, as Christians, how should we respond to others who are in need? All right, guys, so we are in Mark chapter 6, and we're going to read through verses 30 to 44 today. And here's what it says. The apostles gathered together with Jesus, and they reported to him all that they had done and taught. And he said to them, Come away by yourselves to a secluded place and rest a while. For there were many people, many people coming and going, and they did not have time to eat. They went away in a boat to a secluded place by themselves. Now here we can see, right, we see the disciples had returned from their mission of preaching repentance and God's kingdom, right? Jesus had sent them out and they came back and they were telling Jesus all that the things that they had taught and things that they had seen and done. And Jesus instructed them just as Jesus instructs us today to do, right? He said, go out and preach that message of repentance and that Jesus is the only way. He's the way, the truth, and the life. But notice, right, that Jesus provides for them some rest by taking them to a secluded place, right? Jesus cares about our needs and he cares about his disciples' needs. And he saw that they were very tired from all their work. So he takes them out to a secluded place. Now the people saw them going and many recognized them and ran there together on foot from all the cities and got there ahead of them. So much, right, for finding a secluded place, <laughs> but at least they uh, would have had some time to rest with Jesus in the boat on the way over, away from all these crowds, at least for a little bit of time. Now, we continue in th verse 34, it says, When Jesus went ashore, he saw a large crowd, and he felt compassion for them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. Now let's pause here for a minute. Look, Jesus never tires of showing compassion. We read this again and again in the book of Mark, right? He's, hung, he's always so much compassion for these crowds, for these hungry people. He sees the crowds like lost sheep and he wants to teach them so that they can find the way. And remember, Jesus said himself, he is the way. Now we read in verse 35, we'll keep going. When it was already quite late, his disciples came to him and said, this place is so desolate and it's already quite late. Send them away so that we may go into the surrounding countryside and villages and buy, that they may buy themselves something to eat. But he answered them, you give them something to eat. And they said to him, shall we go spend 200 denarii on bread and give them something to eat? Now, let's pause here for a minute. Look, the disciples are tired, it seems, right? <laughs> they're tired and they're concerned that there's not enough food for everyone. They want Jesus to send the crowds away so that they can go get food. But Jesus tells them, hey, you feed them, you feed the crowd. Now imagine this, right? Imagine, imagine feeding this crowd that we will read later on has, has 5,000 men and many more women and children. 
Now the disciples are dismayed at Jesus telling them to feed this many people. As you and I, no doubt, we would have been as well if Jesus told us this. But Jesus provides. And he said to them, how many loaves do you have? Go and look. Right? Jesus said, go and look. <laughs> and when they find out, they said, hey, we've got five and two fish. And he commanded them all to sit down by groups on the green grass. They sat down in groups of hundreds and of fifties. And he took the five loaves and the two fish and looking up toward heaven, he blessed the food and broke the loaves. And he kept giving them to the disciples to set before them. And he divided up the two fish among them all. They all ate and were satisfied. And they picked up 12 baskets of the broken pieces and also of the fish. There were 5,000 men who ate the loaves. Now that is amazing, right? That is an amazing miracle that Jesus performs here for this crowd. He creates enough food to feed the whole crowd. 5,000 men it says, and we know it doesn't mention the women and children, but there would have been, some scholars say, there would have probably been about 20,000 people here. Now, it's interesting that Jesus, I think, it's interesting that Jesus used what the disciples brought him, right? He used these five loaves and two fish, but with his miraculous power, the power of God, he's able to feed thousands of people with this much food. Now, we may think what we have is not enough to help. Like, what can we do, right? You might, you might think this and maybe even hear people say this. What can we do? Well, Jesus says with him, we can do great things because with Jesus, everything is possible. Nothing is impossible for God. Now, let's just pause here for a sec, guys. And you might notice this amazing view back here behind me. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go pan and you can enjoy this view while we... Um, consider those two questions that I asked you about at the very start of the video. Now remember those two questions, right? How does Jesus respond to our needs? That was the first one. Well, we can see here that not always the way we may want him to or what we, how we may expect him to, right? The disciples saw a hungry crowd and they saw only five loaves and two fish that they had, and they thought, please, Jesus, send them away to fend for themselves. But Jesus responds by saying, hey, you feed them, right? You feed them. What do you have to give them? Then Jesus performs a miracle by multiplying what the disciples had to be more than enough. And that brings it to the second question, right? How should we respond to others who are in need? How should we respond to them? Well, we should trust that Jesus will provide for us and give generously out of what we have because all we have, right, comes from Him. It comes from God. And this passage today reminds me of another Bible passage that I'm going to read as we uh, end today's video. Well, guys, it's quite the view here, but I think I'm going to end with this Bible passage today. It's from Luke chapter 12 uh, verses 29 and 31 it says and do not seek what you will eat and what you will drink and do not keep worrying for all these things the nations of the world right the world eagerly seek but your father knows God knows that you need these things but seek his kingdom and these things what does God say here these things will be added to you now, I think that in today's Bible passage we read about feeding these 5,000, meeting Jesus meets all their needs, meets the disciples' needs, that we can clearly see God's promise here in this verse in Luke. We can see this promise in action, right, in today's Bible passage. And as the disciples have been asking Jesus, he provided for them. And as he provided for them, they in turn, with his miraculous power, they provided for others out of the little that they had. Now, hey guys, I appreciate you watching the video today and I hope you learned something new and go out there and share it. And also, please, remember the comment section down below. 
comment on this video. Tell me what you think about these videos. Tell me what you, what God has told you about His Word today. What has He spoke on, put on your heart? Put it in the comments below and let's have a little conversation. Tell me what you like about the videos. Tell me maybe things that I could improve in these videos. I'd love to hear from you guys. And anyways, God bless everyone and God willing, I will see you next week. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video this week and remember, true knowledge is meant to be shared so go out there, tell a friend or two or three or five or ten, tell ten friends what you learned this week and I will see you next time.